know though. Wait a minute, bro. I see this nigga a lot on reality TV shows. Who is this nigga? Hey, yo, check this out. Now I've got four girls left. Let me tell you something. It's going to be real hard for me right now me. because I got to really connect with each one of these girls. You know what I'm saying? I would have to say that this is... Chet, do y'all think that Flav took one of these women down during the show? Of course, definitely, absolutely, of course, yes, yes. I'm being honest. I don't know if he did, though. Let me tell you why I don't know if he did. Because that nigga Flav, she would have won. Probably Pinky, she would have won, bro. A triumphant period for me. There were 20 of us. Now there's only four, including Pumpkin. Um, do I like Pumpkin? No. Do I respect Pumpkin? No. Does Pumpkin still need a <laughs> facelift? Um, yes. All right, Four Russia. hoops. Frankly, I think she's an undercover lesbian. She's an idiot. She's a liar. What the fuck? She home. Goldie, she seems a plus-size loud woman. <laughs> you know, I'd go as far as to say I slightly acknowledge Goldie. I know that I have the upper hand throughout. I'm telling you, I think the Goldie Lynn Sanity run ends today. What the house, because I'm definitely in the lead with Flav. You know, he's mine. So check this out. Wait, Sip said, Sip don't need something. Can we listen to that new coach? Cheese? that shit is super tough, that jackpot. All right, all right, I ain't gonna lie, Chet. Drop that motherfucker when I was away. I already played that. Me? I was born a traveling man. What the, the fuck way, are it's you doing really with that? to know how somebody is and how true their colors is. You travel with them. Take them out on a trip. See what it's going to be like. So today, we getting ready to turn this bad boy up a notch. Good morning. Good morning. Well, you guys know why I'm here. Staying in this house is driving your boy Flav crazy. So Hoops and Pumpkin, pack an overnight bag, because you're joining me at a romantical getaway in Palm Springs where we can relax. Who and who? Just y'all two? Don't worry. Yeah, New nigga. York and Goldie, I'll see you the next day in San Diego where we'll have a booming overnight adventure. Get packing, y'all. Love. It's so funny I'm wearing a San Diego hat. San Diego sucks. I don't think the city of San Diego will ever see me again. <laughs> ah, I had a nice zoo though. They zoo is tough, bro. Flav. So the first two that I take Man. with me out of town is Hoops and Pumpkin. So um, you guys are going first, basically. Yeah. I didn't like the fact that he picked pumpkin and hoops to go on first. So that hurt me. Most California trash? I won't say that. <laughs> They're both sluts. I can both totally see them trying to sleep with my man. <sighs> Bitches. Bitches. She's fucking fall, crazy. Fall, fall, fall. Give me something to laugh at. Fall. What I was a fuck? little bit disappointed because I wanted all four of us to do something together. You know, I really didn't want to get separated from Hoops and Pumpkin. Ciao, babies. Ah, uh, nah, she didn't want to get separated because nigga, low key, we about to, we about to, we about to see her game get exposed, man. Basically, we gonna need a Goldie ISO. Bro, I was a this girl I been talking to Crib yesterday. We was chilling in him room and I saw a picture in her room of her with a nigga. She told me it's her ex who in jail. I see that nigga in jail for assault with a deadly weapon. Should I leave her? Hell no, that mean he got time. Enjoy your time. That nigga ain't coming home soon. What the fuck I'm finna leave for? <laughs> she 
She's out in the free world. We about to hoop. We kind of made a pact to make it just be the best time ever. You both just know how to have fun, you know? Nigga and asked Trey for relationship for advice. The game is cooked. Who the fuck should they ask? Flash Hendrick with two X's, nigga? Whatever. Her more than me. <laughs> I got hoops and I got. Trey trying to say, look, look, Tim, Tom, let, me get, let me give you real advice. You got to ask questions, but like, you got to ask it in a way where it don't seem like you prime. So somebody be like, damn, how long that nigga in that hoe for? Once she finds the answer, if she say that nigga getting out in two years, I say we ball. We ball. Now, if she say that nigga getting out this year, you need to get up out of there. Because if she say this year, she low lost track of time, and that shit could be next month. You got to get up out of there. Two years or more? If that nigga got five years, oh, boy, you better. <laughs> nigga, kick your feet up. Kick your feet up. I want to try to get some individual one-on-one -on -one time with each one of them. I've never been to a resort. Not for a spa. No, I've never been to a spot or a resort. Where do we end up at? <laughs> Great old Palm Springs, California. <laughs> Welcome to Palm Springs. Hey, thank you. Sorry, last so? pause. He gonna be out in a, he gonna be out in a year on bail, and that's when me and her gonna break up. I'm gonna just start. Man, I'm tired of the way you be yelling about nothing. Solution. What are you talking about? Um, can I get some? Can I? Can your man get some love? <laughs> <laughs> Let me take y'all to your rooms right about now. You know, what I'm saying? you ain't gotta kick keys. None, none, all that. I got y'all set up. I got okay, y'all set okay, up. Okay. The only negative thing about going with hoops is I felt like he was way more excited to see hoops than he was. Of me. course. I knew that I had to step up the affection times ten and just see how it plays out and what happens. I'll let you, man. What the fuck did I just watch? I just had to catch myself. I'll let you, man. I'll let you, boy. There was a competition. Like, her pumpkin kissing him, and okay, no, I gotta kiss him. Thank you. Why am I so lucky? Why? Woo-hoo! This is called paradise! Ain't it nice? <laughs> So Flav escorts me and Pumpkin to our room. And there were flowers and robes and food and drinks and everything. It was crazy. Look at the oh a TV! A TV! It was it was it was beautiful. I hope we're supposed to open it up. Damn, yeah, Welcome TV. To Palm Springs, ladies. There was a little note from Flav. You mean on the one for yoga? I was thinking, oh sh I've never done yoga, but I figured if Flav could do yoga, then I could do yoga. <laughs> What is yoga? When I heard yoga, I got a vision of these big, like, incense just brewing. And you, like, sit, like, with your legs crossed like this the whole time. That was it. <laughs> Hello. How you doing? What's Good. your name? My name's Byron. Byron? Yeah. Nice to meet you, Byron. My nice name is Flavor. Hi, Flavor. Took him out onto the grass. Had to exercise that ass. Yeah, we had yoga going on, folks. So let's just start by coming up to all fours. We're gonna work into something here called downward dog. <laughs> I heard yoga hard as fuck, Loki. You probably all have a dog, right? You see the stretch. <laughs> I want you just to kick oh. your legs up and hold just in this position. Say, bro. Breathe. Say, bro. Now, close your motherfucking legs, nigga. Stay there. Close your. <laughs> Keep pushing. <laughs> what? This girl can take it. <laughs> Flav was totally like leaning towards hoops, and I didn't want to feel like I was. Why the fuck did you just type Russell Simmons? Ain't that nigga Russell Simmons in Bali doing yoga? Getting attention, so I had to like at least remind him that I was there. Now, can you feel oh. that stretch? I can feel hand. something. Come on, Aldi. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. Pumpkin ups everything because I'm not about to initiate, you know what I mean? That's what I'm talking about. See, she wanna. You get from behind her, Flay! There you go. What the fuck is Big Rick wearing? <laughs> I, what the fuck happened? Thank you, bro. Thank you very much. We'll see you later. What the I like fuck? that. Oh, that's hot. This is my resort look. 
That's hot. That's hot. So, Rick, what's popping? I'm ready to escort you guys to a beautiful cabana. Okay. Follow me this way, please. So, as we were walking over the grass, I said, ladies, let's take a dip in the pool. There's okay. no lifeguard. That means we ain't got no babysitters. Open pool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your man is up in here now, boy. Had pumpkin over here. I had hoops over here. Had ass in both hands. I'm a lucky man right now. Woo, flavor, flavor. What a oh, fuck no. they She called them all kinds of shit. Wait. <laughs> 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 Nigga said, nasty Oreo. When hoops would do anything, like turn her head, I would always take that opportunity to move in and kiss them. Pumpkin is really awful in her sexuality. She don't care about walking around naked. She will flash somebody. I mean, I know this is a competition, but I don't know what the hell I would have to do. Hey, yo, let me tell you something. I know this could go either way. But it's hard when you're in the middle. And you got equal love. Trey, I looked it up. He eligible to get out in October. I might need to go ahead and let this go. I saw his mug shot. All I got to say is he did that shit. Nigga had a smile on his face in that picture. Man, you need to leave that fucking woman alone anyway. I've been saying this shit for an hour now. The fuck is wrong with you? You know that you need to leave her alone. The fuck is wrong with you? You bugging the fuck out. Now that's a happy home, and you knew that when you walked in. You knew that when you walked in that motherfucker. Hey Tim, move around, gang. Full value, you know. Yeah, we know, but whatever makes you happy, we're cool with. We hope it's one of us, you know what I'm saying? But if it ain't, then that's what it is. I'm a very strong person. If I want something bad enough, like I'll do everything I can to get it. I'm gonna get Flav in the end, and that's the only thing I'm here for. We love you, Flav. I love y'all. Yeah, nah, he probably fucked Pumpkin. Two hoops and Pumpkin. Ooh! Don't you do it, Hoop. Everywhere I go, set up nice. You know what I'm saying? For my girls. My girls. The next thing that I got set up for us was called the SPA. The spa. Oh, <laughs> it is a fabulous experience to have you here. All three of you are going to be having a great experience in our Mediterranean spa, The Well. We're going to take you back and start your experience. Now, can I just say one thing? What? All is swell at The Well. You cap it, oh, uh, Darko. I, like I like that. that. I know, I know. Okay, we have what is called Pittura Festa, which means painting party in Italian. What it entails is for you to take these palette of muds of different colors. This is more about all three of you having fun, painting each other, letting the brush go wild. Certainly have fun here, okay? Now wait That's a minute, this sounds like y'all gonna okay. have to make me Enjoy. hide my screen on some freakish shit. This nigga living a life that should be mine! God! It should be me! He's living a life that should be mine! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, my bitch. <laughs> Brushes down, everybody's grabbing mud, putting I all of each other in there. Bro. Had the flyest. They sleep in my bed. You right, bro. You right, you right. Oh my! That's what I'm talking about. I pulled the string on hoops. This top because I wanted to see her freak out. <laughs> Wow. But the reason that Man, we gotta get fucking rich. I'm tired of this shit. It ain't the We gotta get rich. Something gotta be done, bro. Man, we gotta get rich, man. Hold on.
Hold on, Tara, I gotta skip past you. That she kept it off was because she knew that she needed to. I think she felt like sexually threatened. I don't want to do that. That could be a problem. So I'm gonna try to come to him a little bit more and really let him know how I'm feeling. Dan, oh, uh, let me tell you all about the best part. Showering off the mud. Oh, come on now, Flav, man. You got me looking like a damn creep. Hurry up with this shit. <laughs> When the mud started coming off their skin, what I seen, I said, boy, am I in. <laughs> Woo! Luckiest man in the world. Flavor Flav. Woo! Luckiest man in the world. Flavor Flav. I did have strategy. I don't want to keep spamming. We got to get rich. Damn, you don't have a bag and you're unflattering to look at. Life must be an uphill battle for you. I handsome thoroughbred like me can't relate. You need to get rich too so you can stop lying about yourself. You need to get rich too, bro. Oh, uh, why see the tequila? Oh my goodness, why well, I remember seeing that as a kid. Oh my, you just don't like the memory. Um, nigga saying this shit is censored. I, I'm knowing that it's censored. All right, I get you. But at the same time, I'm not going to um, risk this shit and play it because this shit. There's some dry oil shit. over here and you're going to spray each other. Oh, no, he and fucked pumpkin. Hell no. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Okay. 15 minutes later? I mean, I can't see. Not very far. That's it. Okay. <laughs> we got your message, please. Absolutely you know, not. We done. I know one thing. I had a nice day with y'all so far. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> <That's fresh. laughs> he don't even fit in it. Ready to escort you guys to your room to get ready for dinner. Come on, let's get out of here. Trey at the resort. Hell I knew nah. that I had a lot to tell Flav, so I took that time to write him a letter. I just wanted Flav to know I'm not here just to make out with him, that I want to get to know him. Nasty two man, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's a nasty two man, man. I would have definitely kicked one of them out. And the one that got kicked out, I just won't say no names. Tonight. One of them would have had to go. Yo, your man Flav. Elegance is back once again. So I got there before the girls, everything. Legio. Champagne, flowers. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Look at like Master P. Good. Oh my God, he's like a fucking bug with a hat. To have the best time we could possibly have. He doesn't care about spending. It's whatever with him. <laughs> this is a toast to us having a good time. Hey, no. All right. Hi. What? Hi. Hi. And I'll drink to that. I always have a hard time understanding Flav. Even though I'm from the East, but I'm mad. Bro, this nigga look like he got the hookup. He looks like Master P. Chilling on the West. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> Mad chilling on the Understanding Flav. Even though I'm from the East, but I'm mad chilling on the West. <laughs> you already know. <laughs> the Fuck, I gotta get rich. We gotta get rich. They laughing at his ass jokes. <laughs> uh, terminology. They laughing at or the, you know, not oh being prejudiced, but the God. black link. I should have watched this shit yet tomorrow, bro. I'm loud as fuck at four in the morning, bro. So, like, where they're from, the slang terms, you know, I kind of have a hard time following it. So he'll say some and hoops or whoever will be just cracking up, and I'm sitting back here like, oh. Check this out, right? Flavor Flav has a way Wait, of Wait, what'd she say? I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> the terminology or the, you know, not being prejudiced, but the black lingo, like where they're from, the sl 
slang terms, you know, I kind of have a hard time following it. So when I hit Pinky, I'm being dead serious. Shorty's not my type, so me and her wouldn't do anything. We wouldn't do anything but discuss how I could exit this building. He'll say some and hoops or whoever will be just cracking up, and I'm sitting back here like, oh. Check this out, right? Flavor Flav has a way of talking. I ain't mad at you. That phrase came from Flav. Word up. You know what I'm saying? Damn, I lost my train of thought right now. We used to do a dance back in the days. The bump. Oh, my God. Yeah. You know, the bump, right? Because now you died, right? Then you got buried. You turn it into skeletons, nah, me. I know exactly what he's talking about. That's why I'm like, yo, Flav, keep going. You know what I'm saying? What, you know what I'm saying? I, you know, pumpkin, look. W strategy. You're a piece of shit. She know he wasn't talking about shit for real. W strategy. You know. I have to go back. I'll go back. Okay. Look at her. <laughs> I have a question to ask you. Ah, she confused. Is your mind pretty much made up, or do I stand a chance? You stand I'm a trying very, to give you everything that I can give you. stand a very, very big chance. I wrote you something, and if you just want to hold on to it and read it after dinner, or if you want to read it now, you can read it now. I just wanted to give it to you in private. She's smuggling letters and shit. You know she ain't calm. Pumpkin slips me a note, and this note was about her wanting to be with me alone. <coughs> Gotcha. Well, guess what? What? A little small surprise for you, but I'm not going to tell you right this second. You, mm -hmm. you got a heart. What the fuck you are got they eating? Mad heart. And I love you for your heart. Oh, raid, my bad. Yo, hey, Moist, appreciate you for the raid, gang. Thank you. You know what? I never want to date with you. Free scream. I'm trying. Honestly, I'm trying not to scream so much because it's four in the morning. But hey, I appreciate you for the raid. No bullshit, gang. Night, cat. What was it? Let me take you back to my room for night, cat. I'm going to say goodbye to you right now. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Ah. Huh. Don't you move. I'm not excusing you. Oh, huh? I'm not excusing you. What? Okay. I'm excusing us. And I will see you at the elimination ceremony. Okay. See you later, Hoops. Bye, Hoops. She about to fuck Flavor Flay 4 o'clock. <laughs> it's that late night time. <laughs> <laughs> She's fucking flavor play for a clock. <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> game is game. Oh my god. What the fuck? I was just awkward. I hate being by myself, but now I'm like by myself looking dumb. I told Hoops I was taking pumpkin for the one on one. She was like, whoa. But I wanted to have some alone time with Pumpkin. The whole situation was awkward. I'm sitting there by myself. Lord knows what they probably did or we're going to do. I mean, like, if that's what eliminations are based on, who's, I mean, ooh, who's having sex with them and who isn't, and then, damn, I'm going home. That's the number one overall pick, man. She know she would not get rid of certain rules, man. Or slipping in or something more comfortable. I knew that it would help my chances in a way and I definitely wanted to take advantage of it. She's bugging. Oh Hello. shit. Hey, Shorty up the oh, clock not the worth it. She was looking span fabulous. You know what I'm saying? Word up man. We gonna put this. Oh God right there. Oh my god! She fucked Flavor Flav! Oh my god! No! Dog! She fucked Flav!
This was the spot, right? The man Flavor Flav had a very lovely day yesterday in Palm Springs. Ooh, your man. Imagine if Flav here and then sit in a hole. The mud baths. I am one of the luckiest human beings in the world. Hello, this everyone. This man Flav Trey is now. not the man you all think he is. I had the displeasure of serving him on the resort. He don't tip. Then when I asked him if he needed towels, he powerbombed me. Also, he left a brown ring in the tub. Surviving soul Digo. Hey, stop playing my name like that, bro. About time for me to exit stop the spot. my name like that. Road, sir. Oh. So day number two, I sent Pumpkin and Hoops back to real. the mansion, and I met up with New York and Goldie down in old San Diego. Here I am, first of all, at this animal farm waiting for my girl. <laughs> How Morning. you doing? <laughs> Morning, give it to me. Missed you. Missed you. Missed you bro. Good. New York. I was kind of concerned about being paired up with Goldie going home, bro. She's I done, bro. She's like done. She would probably like take over. How you doing, Miss Miss Um Conservative? <laughs> I'm good. So yeah, I kind of like just figured, yeah, at some point, whenever I choose to, I step my game up. I know what time is with you. <laughs> I'm very territorial. It ain't look right. If anything is worth anything or you feel that something is a positive force in your life, why would you want to share? You know, um, Flav is mine. You know, that's how I see him. I got this fucking Bliss the League ass soundtrack. I'm, I'm thinking I got the game on. That's literally from Bliss the League. Got two of the baddest women in the land right about now. <laughs> Hello, welcome to the 1800 acre San Diego Zoo's Wild Animal Park. How you doing? My name Great. is Flavor. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Laura. I'm going to be your Laura. tour guide today. Oh, Are you ready for a good time? I'm ready. Yes. Oh, All right, God. let's go. Let's rock the house, Laura. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Burn. So, we went down, got in this truck. They took us on to this habitatual land. Ooh, Ooh, big elephant. pigs and cows. Hey, you see the elephant? That shit look fake as fuck. So we're gonna move on up ahead and we're gonna see the giraffes and we're gonna see rhinoceros. Oh, 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 How cute! Pretty cool. It's crazy, this damn zoo ain't changed at all, Loki. Nigga, uh, nigga said cows. Oh. Cows. Cows. Bro, I'm such a kid. When I went to the San Diego Zoo, I'm on the, I'm on this damn thing that they sitting on trying to like hit the damn trees that's on the side. Child. Cool, man. But look at these rhinos up here. We've got a great view. I will go over here and feed those guys over there. So just like this, you're going to hold your apples out. The rhinos are like smacking. You know, they mouth Why that nigga lips so big? What the fuck? When rhinos get lips? He ain't got no. Bitch. He don't got no fucking manners. Oh my god. Dog, this nigga. He eats like he's raising a cave. Up, what the fuck? A lot of cultures believe that rhino horn is some kind of aphrodisiac. Oh, potion. word. Males in the animal kingdom, they have a lot to prove, so they need to advertise, they need to show off. This lady told me as we was going out there, she said, yo, the reason why some of these animals have long horns is because the longer the horns, the better their sex life. And boy. I wear the horns. Are you having a good time? I am. <laughs> he got this big ass hat on. <laughs> this is a competition, and I definitely feel like that I am very capable of stealing the spotlight. You know, okay, from New York. <laughs> Come on, show me something. You know, I must say that uh, it's gonna go my way because Flav is someone that is just beautiful to me. I'm going to just make him feel like the king he is. Oh, I want that. Ah! Bye. Oh, fuck. See y'all later. 
So they got an uh, Apple Watch and no after phone. After we finish feeding the rhinos, it's time to eat. <sighs> Oh my yeah. So we get back to the world's famous W Hotel. Hey, thanks guys, thanks guys. Hey, the W a nice hey, hotel. Ladies. All right, play. Listen, we want to see y'all later. Okay. Okay. All right. It's Goldie. So I told the girls, check this out. I got a nice dinner set up for us. I want y'all to go to your rooms. Get ready. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at that TV. Good Lord. Oh New York's so fucking fake. She knows she hate this girl. She dancing with her ass. walked in the room. I was just blown away. <laughs> just the total ambiance of it all. It just embodied just true romance like a girl couldn't ask for anything more it made me think That's like romance. oh my goodness i could be living this way you know if i'm not the last one standing it's almost like i'm never gonna date again <sighs> are you with me on this i'm filming you on this hey, what the fuck kind of cultural appropriation is this that's crazy I was really excited about the date. I wasn't really concerned about, you know, how New York was going to look. I mean, I'm sure <laughs> she was going to look nice, but then I knew that I was going to look really nice, too. You look great. Let me see how you stepping, Goldie. I'm glad you wore fabulous. that dress instead of that. Um, the other one was a little whatever, whenever. I have nothing against plus-size women, but, you know, when I'm next to Goldie, there is, you know, a, a difference. It's obvious, you know. She's a cute girl, you know, cute, next to gorgeous. Gorgeous is gonna, you know, devour cute. So, uh, <laughs> in the looks department, I definitely, you know, I've scored too high for her to catch up. She told me she the baddest bitch in the room. Plus size, bro, you gotta understand, bro, this is back then, like, she not that big, she not, though, she's not. But for one, people were smaller back then, all right? Nowadays, motherfuckers fat as hell today. Just being honest, but two, um, what what they consider plus size is completely different, dog. Ironic. What about it? Now I remember, bro, Tahiri. No, not Tahiri. What's that girl name? Hold on, I'm gonna find her. They was like, "Yo, you a plus size woman?" Like. Some images, just some pose they wanted her to not do, and all of that. Like, oh, you look at Takara, bro. Takara, thick. Some motherfucking plus size. Like, what are you talking about? About her journey as a plus size model. Life was completely different. Takara is not close to being a fucking plus size. You remember when WWE tried to convince us that Mickey James was fat? Bro, you give me two shots of vodka, no chaser, and I'll break a sweat with that. You know what's funny? I do remember them. They was trying to, like, not say, like, Mickey James one of the pretty girls and, like, hint to her, like, she's not fitting in with everybody. But I don't remember them calling her fat, though. But I do believe it, though. Are you considered plus size? Who the fuck calling niggas plus size? That's weird than a bitch. <laughs> Imagine a nigga running around. Yeah, I'm plus size. Well, I mean, you are. And I mean, fuck you, nigga. New York. This show even more funny than the door. You ain't lying. What's up, baby? <laughs> you my plus size. We're going to get you out of here. You, New York. Oh, you look lovely, baby. Thank you. I'll see you. Hell nah, Goldie. <laughs> Goldie comes up. Oh, hello! Starts kissing me. I'm like, whoa, Goldie, where have you been? Trey calls Goldie, himself no. Husky. No, I do not. I'm definitely angry. Goldie, she <laughs> lands a big, huge kiss. <laughs> ah, look at him. <laughs> definitely angry. I, 
Look at her face! Goldie, she lands a big, huge kiss on him, and you know, that just blew him away. I don't know whether it was her strategy or not. Let's let the festivities begin. Okay. But look at this view around Goldie us, Goldie let niggas know man. she here to hoop, nigga. Man. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's real nice. I'm loving you, chocolate drops. Well, I need somebody to feed me. Okay. And you look like you will be the one to really feed your man. He goes to the biggest woman on the show and says, I need someone to feed me. You ain't talking about nobody cooking for you yet. I definitely want to feed you. Hey, <laughs> you say it again like that, I'm going to let you do that. <laughs> you heard? Man, listen, feed your boy. <laughs> Nigga, fucking eat her. Would you like some shrimp? Hold on. Mashed potatoes. It looks good. That's Flav have the braids over. Trey has when he takes his wig off. Got me fucked up. Oh boy, I'm being shocked by my girl Goldie tonight. <laughs> Goldie got takeover. I think the date was going in my favor. <laughs> Lord, what took you so long bringing this girl around me? <laughs> Why? Why you took so long? I didn't like it. You know, it hurt that he was paying a lot of attention to Goldie, but I think I handled myself well because I see myself pouring the champagne all over the table and leaving. I mean, I was just like a million from doing it. Put that down. Yo, Goldie. I want to know what you would really do if you had time alone with me. I can show you much better than I can tell you. Like that nigga trying to get another body nerf this nigga. The festivities begin. What's up? Can I um, spend some long time with you right now? Okay. <laughs> Flavor Flay. Oh yeah. my God, Goldie got takeover. You know she throwing up heat ticks. I'm gonna um, see you tomorrow night. Okay. Did they even talk? Elimination ceremony. <laughs> okay. okay. Good luck. When I left with Goldie, it did not make New York feel good at all. New York, I can smell the heat coming out of the top of her head. Mm -hmm. See you later, okay? Okay. Goldie? Mm hmm. Would you be kind? Man, let me stop doubting this woman. I said she had an ISO, she's done. She got that fucking ISO and dropped 36 on two misses. Let's take the hand of your man. Of your man. Yeah. How you know I'm, I'm done. <laughs> My God. That poor knew exactly what she was doing. But she knew I looked great. She knew she had to pull out all her stops. She, you know, basically dominated the date because, ooh, she finally kissed him tonight. Sit back. It's all right. Mm -hmm. Goldie. What's up? Thank you for coming around. Well, ah! <laughs> oh, my God. Bro. Dog. Gang. I'm gonna be here, you hear me? They got him somewhere else. I ain't worried about no fucking, I ain't worried about no fucking. The sex and on the late night mean that much to Dang. me. My love don't mean that much to you. Fucking these hoes, man, too damn much to me. I show when you fucking on a nigga when you finish. He can say that he love you. Now do you feel better about yourself? Y'all, Goldie really killed this nigga. Yeah, I figured it was about time. <laughs> Honestly, can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I knew you was getting Don't put that nigga get it over with. <laughs> For you, hell 
I'm the girl that f gets your man, and that's it. I, I can't share him. It's not your body, your great ass, your nice and all of that. Damn, mm -hmm. nigga. No. I'm not gonna share my man with another woman. A big girl at that, you know what I'm saying? Bro, shut your motherfucking ass up, weak ass. That whore knew exactly what she was doing. She knew, <laughs> she knew. Anything I love about you. <laughs> she hates me. You are a lot of country ass fun. <laughs> Slave ain't hitting these. Bumpkin with her white gravy. Ain't hitting those. That's all he cares about. I'm serious, man. <laughs> When he tells me, me, New York, that he's gonna see me tomorrow at elimination. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I'm going home tomorrow. That hurts me because I, I truly do love him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> flavor, flame. Man, they up there laughing. Man, that nigga ain't hit Goldie. I don't believe it. He hit, you think so? Play, bro, play. What's up, baby? Bro? Good morning, sir. How are you? Give me some love, dog. What's up, man? How you doing, man? Awesome, brother. You sleep good? Yeah, man. I slept kind of good, man. You know what I'm saying? It's time for me to go back to the mansion, man. Well, the mansion. I slept kind of good. Sir, on, man. You got it, sir. Let's go, man. We out. Tonight, I got another elimination ceremony going on. And boy, I got four girls left. Bro, I got blue ball, and they got friend zone on his own TV show. It's kind of hard on your man right now tonight, you know, to make this decision because what the fuck is he doing? Each one of these damn girls, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> New York, girl. Yeah. She's gonna come here, she's gonna go straight to her room. Goldie will come in here and tell us everything, and that bitch won't. She'll go down and get some food, go to her room and eat, and won't talk to any of us till elimination. The only reason I could even see anybody wanting to keep her ass around is because, like, she, like, acts, acts, like she likes him so much. I just wants to hit it. Gross. <laughs> 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 I fuck her hoops. I was kind of shocked last night because Goldie ended up stepping up to the plate. You seen that, Rick? I'm listening, dog. She came up and kissed your man, Rick, in the mouth. So you're right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Big Rick? <laughs> they try to stay clean Big with your man. Mike. You know what I'm saying, Pumpkin? I like Pumpkin because she's wild. She likes to just hang out and kick it. WR, WR. Nice, pretty body Torio toe factor. Mainly when she got on a dress and some heels. Oh, my God. But see, one thing about New York, she doesn't like her territory invaded. When it comes down to her man Flav, <laughs> this is my man. She don't want no other woman around me. That jealousy that New York got, she's trying to drive. Pause the video, fuck, run it back. For what, freak ass nigga? Everybody off to keep me for herself. I would have oh, to New say York that this is sick. the first time I ever looked at myself as um, a candidate for Elimination. Goldie? <laughs> Bro, she is fucking insane. Yes, I did. I did. You did. I did. The girls that are in the house now, they um, she might have feed off of the friendship thing. They don't know how to stand alone. I knew from the beginning in this competition that it was very important for me to stand alone always, because that shows Flay that he has a solid one in the house. He does appreciate that. I'm not here for them. So here I am now. I'm in the position, and I'm in the shoes of hurting people. Chad, who's the number one overall pick from this episode? Goldie, you think so? I think it's Pumpkin.
people's feelings, but not on purpose, because yes, we do know that this is a contest, but still in all, it's still kind of hard for me. It's not kind of hard for me, it's hard for me, period. One of us is gonna go home, hopefully New York. There's a 75% chance that we will not all be together tomorrow. Damn, that's a big chance. I think my one-on-one -on -one time with Flav may have given me an advantage. You know, I hope he sees the quality of woman that he has in Goldie. I am feeling a little scared about elimination. Once again, I'm back at square Oops, that makeup one, got you looking nervous. crazy as fuck. There is a lot of tension around the house. I haven't spoken to any of the girls really today. I really don't have anything to say to them at this point. My thoughts are just Flav. Flav, Flav, Flav. You know, Flav and I. You guys. Yeah, I'm my kiss. Yo, pull that curtain, man. Pumpkin pull the Andrew curtain. Lux. Pull the curtain, sir. Hell no. Now look, I had a nice time with these two right here. Oh my God, Rick. Mm. Rick. <laughs> Rick. I gets back down to these two right here. I can get with this, I can get with that. I got a second mistake. I can get with this. Listen, I know I said I was done doubting. I lied though, bro. Out of these three, Pumpkin should be the one going home easily. Pumpkin should go home, but she gave up the ass. This, this is where it's at. Come on, Rick, let's go. Yo, the way that they really hugged up in New York, not with them, is crazy. Let's go, sir. <clears throat> I was definitely disappointed with Flav. I felt hurt because he spent the whole night with Goldie. Tonight I, mean, I want New York to leave. Goldie, you ain't get it up, bro. Which is cool, but you're going home. Good evening, ladies. I must say, all four y'all is banging. Banging. Ain't nobody still they bag up. What's up, hoops? What's up, man? How you doing? Nervous as hell. She's super good. I don't want to be the one sent home. I don't know what's going through Flav's head. He said he's had such a great time with Pumpkin. So it's so up in the air. Real right shit. Now. The reason why Hoops is good, bro, she the le legitimate. I'm not saying this because of me. She the baddest one on this show. Flav ain't hit that. And nigga, you always hold that in your head like, man, bro, I might get up. Now. My girl, Goldie. <laughs> What's good? I think my one-on-one -on -one time with Flav may have given me an advantage because me and Flav connected in a real way, but there's no telling who might go and who might stay. How you doing, New York? I'm doing, I'm doing all right. If I don't get a clock tonight, I'm gonna tell Flav that I love him because I do, but I also will let him know that he needs to make a call and get 20 more women in and do it all over again because he's not gonna find Mm. What he needs in the three remaining women. What's up, Pumpkin? Okay. Well, us three are fine. She really doesn't make conversation. Bro, Pumpkin, get the fuck. Oh my God, I hope she go home, bro. Damn, she shouldn't get no ass up. You use this time to start fucking hating. With us, I stay focused. That was my approach as soon as I came in the house. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. You asked if we oh, were yeah, getting along, and I answered the, the question. Fuck? There are so many. Like obvious signs why New York is not the right one for Flav. She's the worst match for him, and so hopefully he'll see that. We all adults in here. We all should be able to get along. Yeah. Pumpkin's calling me out. For her to bring that up just shows how petty and childish and immature she, a weirdo. she is. How easy she is to basically crunch. And you she's know, so I'm hit. Her. One of you. Ooh, shit, she hit. So, right about now, I was getting ready to get a clock from your man. 
<laughs> no bad game. Got four bodies right now. Three clocks. First person that's going to get a clock from your man Flavor Flav tonight. Let's hand this clock over to my girl Pumpkin. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Pumpkin's pick number one. You smash, bro. This confirms it. <laughs> it just seems like she's just there to make out with him and see how far she can. I'm sorry, Chet. She really, she, she on her Alex Smith shit, man. She the Alex Smith for the draft, man. Snow. Alex Smith year, man. Alex Smith year, man. Snow. Not the most impressive quarterback. Gonna win a couple of games. Won't push the ball downfield. Don't push the ball down, Phil, but you, you it's gonna work. It's gonna work out. You know what time. And if Aaron if Hoops is picked too, she's really out. Uh, Thank you. Two clocks left. Three bodies. Next clock. Hoops. <laughs> she's Alex Smith, and here's A Rod. Here's a rod, nigga. Hoops didn't have to spend no extra night. Ain't had to do none of that. The talent just motherfucking show. You hear me? She's obviously a very, very beautiful woman. Yeah. But when she opens up her mouth, you know, it's like dirt. You know what time it is. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Waiting for the last clock, I was kind of antsy and I wasn't sure what was going to happen, but I figured Flay would make the best decision for him. New York, Go you've deep. been a very, very good spokeswoman for yourself. I ain't going to lie, you've been working your thing, G. Goldie, friendly ghost. Kind of shocked New me last York. night. When you gave me that kiss, it was a beautiful kiss. That's why I kept you around, Goldie, because you're fun, you're mad fun. Can't just help her love you like that, you know what I'm saying? But I just want more than just friendship. Chat. I'm gonna give this clock to New York. The Lynn Sanity Run. It's over. Lynn Sanity, man. It's over, man. She was hooping, bro. She was hooping. Fuck it, let's call some hoes on. Leave a bitch. You know. Hey, I'm paranoid to the end. Not too many niggas can call me a friend. I try every day, but I know that I've seen it's all good, but I pay for the win. I leave me a bitch every time that I'm ready to go I turn off the lights on the bitch so she know that it is the end of the show It's over New bitch when I land Big watch make me feel like been 10 It's over man Damn Honestly to tell you the truth New York is looking for Damn. a richer lifestyle New York is a gold digger just like <laughs> 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 it's over. <laughs> oh my god, bro. She did all that kissing with bro. All of that just for New York to pull up for three. Holds on three pointer. Yeah. Oh, the show's over. Fuck it, let's call some hoes over. I leave a bitch to type and won't give her no closure. I'm so sorry. Patty, you ask me. You know what I'm saying? She's just well disguised. New York knows exactly how I feel about her. She knows that I don't like her. She knows that I think that she's rude and she knows that I think she's a bitch. When you gave me that kiss, I thought you was really unsure of her. You don't think so? Nah, I 
Your films are very mixed. Like you said to me last night, play, you know, all I want to do is get to know you and just be your friend. Any man. I told y'all she friend zoned that nigga, bro. I told y'all. I, I you promise you, I do not remember this show at all. Oh, my mama, bro. So Flav probably felt like he couldn't get close to her and really feel out who she really is besides this big, huge joker. I gotta move the clock. Time is in between us. I know. I love you, Goldie. I love you too, Flav. It kind of stings a little to have to leave, but things happen when it's time for them to happen. Damn. This ain't the last. You'll hear from me again. <laughs> I better. Down in San Diego, I gave Goldie a chance, and, and she told me that all she wanted to really do was just be my friend and get to know me. Yeah, she wasn't touchy-feely no more. I'm like, whoa, don't force something where it doesn't fit. I mean, Flay, you're not lying. This is a nasty pause. It's nothing wrong with Goldie wanting to be friends with him. There's a problem with you want to be friends with me on the show called Flavor of Love. I'm not here for friends. You're done. You know, we may not have connected so much romantically. I did put my best foot forward, so I gave it what Goldie can give it. That's what I gave me. <laughs> this is for my girl, Goldie, that just left us. She's a lot of fun, y'all. I'm gonna miss her being around him. It's definitely tough leaving behind. I can't believe Pumpkin, Pumpkin made it this goddamn And my heart fault. goes out for New York, because I know they're not gonna talk to her. Pumpkin and Hoops, they should definitely beware of NY, New York, mm. because that man upstairs, I love, admire, and already cherish. And I am not going to leave his side. Bow out gracefully, or if you don't want to bow out gracefully, I'll take your head on. Uh, Flav, maybe you can go. do this one. Check this out, okay? 